In this video, I'll be creating a provisioning package to go from out-of-the-box experience to user's desktop and also install Microsoft Office 2016 Volume Edition without any user interaction. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Here you can see the objectives for this video, basically bare minimum package from out of the box experience to user's desktop and install Office 2016. So here you can see all the steps that the package will perform. It will install Microsoft Office, skip out of the box experience. It will also execute a script that I have here in my GitHub page called Ubi setup and the script will skip a privacy experience, create local administrators account and configure power settings so that the computer does not go to sleep during the provisioning process. But before we can start creating our package, we need to perform few actions with Microsoft Office. And that's because there are a few problems with Microsoft Office installation. The first one is that it requires a configuration file to perform a silent installation. And we need to perform a silent installation when we are installing software from a provisioning package. And the second problem is that Microsoft Office has multiple installation files and it's a bit problematic when creating a provisioning package in Windows Configuration Designer. It's best if software installation only has a single executable. And to solve both of the problems, first I will be creating the MSP configuration file and after that I will be packaging all the installation files into a single executable. And now to begin this video I will go to my downloads folder and show you where I have my office installation files. Basically it's in my downloads folder and also in the office folder. And here you can see all the executables for office installation. And now to create the MSP configuration file I will open a new terminal window. I will run it as administrator. And then in my terminal, I will change the directory to the location where I have my office files. So to do that, I will type CD, then I will type D and downloads folder because my office installation files is in my downloads folder, office folder. And then let's press enter. If I type there, here you can see all the files for the office installation, the same files that you see in the window here. Now to open the office customization tool, we need to add dot slash setup dot exe slash admin. Now let's press enter. This will open up the Microsoft customization tool. Here I will click OK. And in here I will also click OK. And in here I will mainly focus on the silent installation. So first I will go to licensing and user interface. Here you need to select whatever license for the volume activation you're using. I, in this case, I will leave it at KMS client. Here I will select accept license terms in the license agreement. And then for display level, I will select none. And I will also leave the checkbox on suppress model. And that's basically all that we need to do in here. Now I will be adding few custom properties. And for that, I will go to modify set to properties. I will click on add then I will go back to my github page because here I have the properties that I will be using the so first setup reboot I will select it copy it go back here insert the value I mean the name and the value is never I will click OK and the second property that I will be using is to add update UI once again copy it add insert the name and then the value is true then let's click ok and that's it for the custom properties i will also go to set feature installation states and here i will also block onedrive and onenote from installing so for that i will expand microsoft office go to onenote select not available and same for onedrive and that's basically it for my configuration now i will go to file I will save as the configuration. I will save it in my downloads office folder. I will name the configuration configuration. And then I will click on save. And now we can close Microsoft Office customization tool. And let's go to the downloads folder where we have the installation files. And as you can see, now we have the configuration files for the office installation in here. And that's it for creating the configuration. Now let's create a single executable for all the installation files. And for that, I will be using 7-zip and 
first I need to create a 7z archive. So I'll select all the files that I have here, right click, go to 7zip and then add to 7z. Let's wait a bit. And now that I have this archive file, I will right click on it, I will select cut, I will go to my downloads folder and I will insert the archive in here. And I don't no longer need the installation file, so I'll remove that folder. And now that we have this 7z archive, we need to make it into executable. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page because here in the top, we have the first file that I need. It's config.txt. Basically, this is a configuration file that gives the information for 7zip to execute setup.exe with this parameter and then provide the configuration file. Basically, this will execute the setup.exe for Microsoft Office installation and provide the configuration file for silent installation. Now to download this file, I will click on the button right here, go back to my GitHub page because we need one more file and we can find it in the 7-zip download page. So I'll click on this link, then I will click Ctrl F on my keyboard and search for SFX. And we're looking for this right here, SFX for installers. I will click on download and then I will go to my downloads folder. And now we need a single file from this hard drive, so I will go inside of it. And here we are looking for this file right here, 7zs.sfx. I will right click on this file, select copy, and I will move that file in the downloads folder. And I will also remove this archive. And now I have all the necessary files to create a single office installation file. And now the last part is to combine all of them. And for that, once again, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have the command that I will be using. The command is copy. And basically it merges all the files to create a single executable. I will click on the button right here to copy the command and then I will go to my terminal. Here I will switch from PowerShell to CMD just by typing CMD. And then I will insert the command, press enter. And if I go to my downloads folder, you can see that we have this single office.exe executable. And when executed, this file will perform silent office installation. Anyways, that's basically it for creating a single executable. Now let's remove all the unnecessary files. Let's leave only the office installation executable in here. And now before creating the provisioning package, I will be downloading one more file that I have here in my GitHub page ubi-setup.ps1. I will click on it and like I said before, this will create a user account, admin user account, then it will disable the privacy experience and also configure the power settings. I will click on the button right here to download this file. And now in my downloads folder, I have office.exe executable and also this ubi-setup.ps1 file. And finally, I can start creating my provisioning package. And for that, I will go to my Windows configuration designer go to file new project i will name the project office 2016 then i will click yes i mean next next all windows desktop editions next and finish let's go to runtime settings and first let's um, disable the out of the box experience and for that i will go to ubi i will select desktop and here for height ubi i will select through. And now to execute ubi setup script, I will go to provisioning commands, device context. Here I will select command files, go to browse. Then I will go to downloads and here I will select the script. I will click add here. Now we added the script to, to our provisioning package, but we need to provide the execution command. And for that, once again, I will go back to my GitHub page and here we have the command so i'll click on here to copy the command and i will insert the value right here this will basically execute powershell and powershell will execute that script and now to perform office installation i will go to primary context in the provisioning commands i'll select command here i will name the command install office i will click add i will select the command here here we need to provide the command file, so I'll click on browse, go to my downloads folder, and I will select the office executable that I have in here. 
and now we need to provide a command to execute this executable once again i will go back to my github page and here i have the command that i will be using and one quick note about this command is that before executing the installation it will copy the installation files to the temp folder of the computer and that's because executing executables from the package sometimes gets a bit buggy and the installation fails anyways i will click on the button right here to copy the command go back to my provisioning package and insert the command here and that's basically it now we can create the provisioning package and for that i will go to export provisioning package here i will click next 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 and build and then i will click on output location and here we have our provisioning package office 2016.ppkg and now to test this provisioning package i will right click on it select copy then i will go to my usb drive and i will place the provisioning package to my usb drive and now i will go to my vmware workstation because here i have this windows 11 virtual machine that is in the out of the box experience and to test the provisioning package i need to plug the usb drive to this virtual machine then the provisioning process should start and the provisioning package should configure everything for us in the out of the box experience and also go from out of the box experience to user's desktop and install office without any user interaction now to connect the usb drive i will go to vm removable devices and then i will connect this usb and now we need to wait and as you can see the provisioning process is over now i'm in my admin user if i go to start menu all apps here we have excel and powerpoint publisher and other office apps let's click on excel and it seems to be working just fine and that's basically it for this video like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one